straight coming down. I feel like it's zooming on that trash can so you can kind of see it. Well, this might be one of the dumbest things I've done. Anyway, it's about 30 degrees outside and we're going fishing. It is just snowing like crazy. This is actually the first snowfall, the first real snowfall of uh, December here in Washington. This is actually the spot where we will be. There is some open water. Nice, some good news. There's some water that uh, is not frozen. So I should be able to get my bait in there. And that's exactly where I wanted to go with. Why are you mad? Come on, man. I'll get you a catfish, I promise. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm really hoping I can get somewhere in there, but. Not the ice. Walking on ice right now. Whew. I don't know how shallow or how deep this is, but I'm walking on it right now. Whew. Trying to get to this side. I'm walking on ice right now. You probably hear the shakiness in my voice. Oh, because I just went in. Oh, that's a shoe full of mud right there. Check this out. I literally went ankle deep in some mud. There's the hole I made right there. My entire left foot is covered. Kind of nice here. There's no hobos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this channel in here. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a snag. Five feet of water. What do I have on here? It's a rope. I just caught a rope with a rock and a bait. It's definitely a rock to a rope. And we're gonna tie on a jerk bait. Get this bag completely covered in snow. My shit's down in here. Okay, we got, I'm gonna go with my perch, this guy. Here we got one of my favorite and lucky perch jerk baits. My favorite one. Okay, there we go. Oh man, full of mud. All right, so I might as well get down to it. If you are fishing a jerkbait, like I am fishing right now, in the winter, you want to leave it alone for maybe, I mean, oh, there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a fish, there's a fish, got one. Yes, it looks like a small mouth. It's actually kind of big. Oh my gosh, I just caught a fish and it's a, it's a giant. It's a big fish. Dude, that is a big, fish oh my goodness it broke off it broke off it broke off oh, I got him holy crap check this fish out <clears throat> oh my gosh check out the gullet on this thing holy cow I cannot believe what just happened did you see that check out the mouth on this thing this thing can literally eat the GoPro holy crap let me go get my other camera this thing is huge holy holy oh my goodness check this fish out that i just caught this is what we come out here to fish for check out the gullet on this thing look at that that thing could eat you if it wanted to holy crud 
What a beautiful fish. It's all worth it. I fell in the snow, fell in the ice. Everything was worth it for this fish. Get out. Let's get this mama released and uh, let her keep feeding. Absolutely amazing. Let's get this thing back in the water and uh, and let's let her go. Let's see. This one. Check it out. Check it out. Worth it. That makes it all worth it. Dude, I cannot believe that just happened. Like I can believe it, but I got my heart rate is through the roof right now. I say it was about four, four pounder, but it come out, look at the ice. Look at the ice all over the water. And then it opens up over there, but I can't reach that. But I'm literally fishing in ice. Look at this, ice, ice, all ice right there. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get back in the water. I'm gonna go over again what I was doing. Mm, just hooked myself. I'm just that excited, that pumped up. Okay, so jerkbait I'm using. I think it's like a Rapala XD something. I don't know, there's a little feather on the tip. It's in a perch pattern and I think it's about a four foot diver. This is all I'm using right here. So I was trying to find that weed line. So when you cast out a jerkbait, you cast it, I reel it down, get it down there in that strike zone and you just leave it there. That's all you do. You leave it there in warmer weather like spring or fall. I like to leave it there for about five seconds. In winter where there's ice and snow, I leave that thing down there for 10 to 15 seconds. With the jerk bait, you wanna be popping it on slack line. Um, you wanna have about a medium rod, that's what I have. It's a medium 6.6 six, and you just wanna give it those pops and, and what it's doing is it's imitating a dying uh, bait fish. Also, I forgot, shout out to my students who are watching this video. I hope your break is amazing. Um, I hope you guys get everything you ever asked for. Shout out to Carson, shout out to Whitley um, for being cool kids and, and getting me a Christmas gift. It's very thoughtful of you and your family. So I hope if you and your family are watching this, um, thank you guys. And to the rest of my students, like I said, uh, shout out to you guys for watching these videos and for subscribing. Um, I know Mr. G's fishing videos are boring sometimes, but thanks for uh, being honest and being my critics. Anyways, to everybody watching this now also, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. Get ready to call it a day soon. Man, don't let anybody tell you it's too cold or snowing. So we're back to the pretty much the entrance way. Gonna see if there's anything biting. That one got my shoe wet. Ugh. I am just gonna die out here apparently. Perfect. Gotten warmer. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for letting me pass through. Take care, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. What a nice lady. Just got done fishing, I walked back. Uh, shout out again to that nice lady for letting me go through her yard so I didn't have to walk across the sketchy ice that I had already fallen into. That was crazy. That was a little bit of everything today. If there's snow where you're at, or it's 27 degrees, 22 degrees like it was today, hey, don't let anybody tell you it's too, uh, too cold to go out fishing. So once again, thanks for tuning in to uh, 
fish in the 509 and uh, you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you until it's ice fishing.